Hey guys, my name's Antonio, and welcome to another episode of Liberty in Brief. Just to kick off this episode, briefly, I would like to talk about racism, or race baiting, or this divide and conquer bullshit. When it comes down to it, racism is really, I, I guess you could say a dead horse. It's just as we keep beating this dead horse over and over again. It, it's, it's, it's a dead scene. I wish we could really get past this and get over this. Uh, you constantly see it all over you know, your mainstream media, people basically race baiting or setting someone up to say something about a different minority or a group or a person, or, or even, even shootings. A Peruvian guy shoots a black guy, and now he becomes a white guy, and the black guy becomes 12 years old all of a sudden, even though he was much older than that. You know, what, what, is, what is this bullshit that we keep seeing over and over again, that we keep falling for? Or I don't say we, but people keep falling for all it is is just it's just pulling at people's insecurities it's pulling at people's fears you know these these social stereotypes that we've created um and and it's 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 a, it's a game it's just it's a, racism is a game anymore you know it's just it's just ridiculous i mean when it comes down to it everybody's racist and i don't mean racist as in calling people these slurs i mean racist as in you see someone that looks a little different than you, you automatically say, hey, we look a little different. Doesn't mean you hate the guy, but technically I guess you're defining somebody by the color of their skin, or you're, you, you acknowledge that there's a difference, you know, something special about these two groups, and I guess it makes me racist if I say you got a different skin color than me, then what the fuck ever, I guess I'm a racist. And you'll notice it's usually used to divide groups of thought. Uh, you get too many people talking about liberty, the best way to break them up is to create superficial reasons for them to hate each other, right? Like I said, it's it's just a it's just divide and conquer. Just let's not work together. Let's find out, you know, little minor details uh, why we should hate each other. You know, not why we should work together or why what what we got in the you know in common, but uh, but let's just focus on on the negative things about each other, right? That makes that makes much more sense. You know, hate each other, not work together. And this race baiting, it's it's just like it's just like fear baiting. You know, uh, keep everybody scared of each other, or you know, hush hush. You you don't want to say the wrong thing. So then, then that leads me to you know, fear baiting. Okay, so what is you know, terrorism? What is terrorism? It's a person achieving his means through through fear or through threat of violence. Um, you know, all these people that want to enlist, they're always talking. Oh, we got to fight those terrorists. Yeah, okay, maybe they're scary people overseas. But who are, they, who are they funded by? Who are they trained by? Um, who's giving them their supplies? Who's giving them all their money? Uh, you dig a little deeper, you follow the money, you find out, well, wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't enlist. Because maybe, maybe the terrorists are wearing, you know, suits. They got little donkey uh, pins on their shirt. They got little uh, elephant, you know, you got an ass and an elephant. So, so why is it that we keep falling for this as well? It's another, another fucking stupid-ass game that we keep falling for. Uh, we got Al Qaeda, we got the Taliban, now we have ISIS. It's the same story every time. We give these guys guns, we give them money, we train them, and then we go to war with them. What 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 the what the, what the hell is that? So okay, you, you create the enemy, then you kill the enemy, and then all the bystanders that see that shit, they get a little pissed off too, because now you're invading their sovereign land and dictating what they do with their everyday lives. And then you create more enemies. It's like the Hydra. You cut off one head, two more grow. So, if a person who achieves his means through fear, does that make a politician, by his nature, by the, what, what he does on a day-to-day -day basis, does that make him a terrorist? I mean, let's just think about that. Is a politician a terrorist? You ask me, I say, hell yeah. A politician is a very well-paid, well-fed terrorist. He doesn't live in a cave. He lives probably in your state. He probably lives in your capital. So every every election, these guys, they'll get on TV, and they always talk about, oh, the terrorist, the terrorist. Every other word is terrorist, weapons of mass destruction, be scared of this and that. That's, you're, you're, you want me to vote on something by scaring me to, to take care of this? That sounds like something a terrorist would do. So here we go again, divide and conquer. Uh, be scared of this group, because this group is going to take away your freedom somehow. Now, now we hate everybody associated with this group. It's like 
Oh, they're brown. Watch out for brown people, because all brown people got bombs now. What the hell is that? That's just stupid-ass logic. And then they tell me these brown people are going to take away my freedom somehow. When it's these fucking politicians, every time I go to an airport, they're the ones that pass the law that says some guy got to fill on my junk, got to rub me down to make sure I don't have any explosives on me. Those terrorists didn't pass that legislation. Those terrorists didn't pass the, the Patriot Act. Those terrorists, compared to these politicians, they're killing a lot less people. And there, there's a statistic out there, I forget, it's roughly 5,000 people um, have been killed by police officers since 9-11. That's like, what, more than the uh, people that have been killed in Iraq? And when I say people, I mean Americans. I'm sure the people killed that are born of the Middle East, I'm pretty sure a lot more of them have been killed by our peacekeepers, our, our freedom fighters. So I just want us to all take a look, look around. What's what's going on in the world right now? We got these Middle Eastern conflicts, just don't seem to end, but yet we feel like we always have to send more troops. Send 275 more. That's the that's the lucky number these days. You send 275 more boots over there, that'll 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 end this conflict because you know thousands of dead soldiers wasn't enough. You just need a couple more. I, with with Israel and their little strategic bombing of Syria. Who saw that coming? It seems like Israel likes to play the innocent, I don't know, just the innocent bystander, you know? I, I had to bomb them because, you know, they said, they were saying mean things to me. Or, you know, some, some fucking conflict, you know? So it's always something. And it's funny that Israel trains them, funds them, and then kills them. We train them, fund them, then kill them. And then we say, hey, Saudi Arabia, get all those crazy guys and we'll train them, fund them. And then we'll go to war and kill them. Sounds like a good idea, right? We all, you know, we, we don't make money. We don't make shit off of this. We 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 go up and die for them. But but these these higher ups, they're, they're they're making bank off of this, and we keep falling for it. Wake wake the fuck up. And so this brings me to to uh, the the topic of taxation again. Um, what what I don't understand is this. I guess what I would like to understand is why do people you can break down logically reasonably that taxation is theft you can explain them what theft is what taxation is and they seem to be the same fucking thing but people will deny that they'll say you know religiously I understand okay I used to be a religious person so if something goes against your faith you, you tend to up you know put your blinders up you don't want to hear it and so you, you know you'll, you'll say ah oh, that's not true or you know that, that's bullshit but, but what's bullshit is denying logic and reason. Uh, so, these people that say, you know, I'm going to continue paying taxes because they do some good things. And okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and go along with, 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 your, with your logic there. Okay, they pay for some good things, right? Like roads and schools and, you know, maybe those poor people that need your money. Um, but what about the, the children that are bombed overseas? Is, is, your, is your public education worth on um, that, you know, killing people, uh, if you're okay with taxes, is it okay maybe to, you put one child in school, but you kill ten children over there? Is it okay maybe to build one road here while bombing a wedding party in Yemen? Are, are, are you okay with paying for that? I mean, it, it's, it's a package deal, so you pay for one thing, you're paying for that. Um, so, guys, if you're okay with paying taxes, are you okay with paying for people to go overseas, basically mercenaries to go die, uh, to go kill? Are you okay with that? I mean, let's, let's think about this. Maybe, maybe if you don't want to, maybe if you want, if you're okay with paying taxes, could you maybe boycott just for a little bit? Could you just, can we agree on that? Can we agree that, hey, maybe as long as we're going to wars that I don't agree with, I'm not going to pay the government? Does that sound crazy? Does that sound radical? Or does that just sound kind of peaceful? Does that sound like, hey, Maybe maybe I don't want people to die. Maybe maybe this isn't worth all that killing. Just an idea for you taxpayers. Um, maybe maybe we should all band together. Just an idea. All right, guys. I'm sorry about my ranting. Uh, I gotta throw this episode up there real quick. I'm kind of running behind today. I've been I've been out running errands and whatnot. I actually just got back from the shooting range as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys a question real quick. All right, so the question is this, concerning tolerance, not about race, 
you know, not about creed, not about where you're from, but tolerance of people that don't seem to tolerate the non-aggression principle. Um, so let's say you have a relative or you have a neighbor. You guys talk about, well, you know, you're trying to convert this guy. You're trying to explain to him that, hey, we're all logical, reasonable human beings. Let's not aggress upon each other. But they say, oh, well, I'm going to continue to vote. Or I'm going to continue to pay taxes that pay for guys to enforce my beliefs upon you. When do we stop tolerating this shit? When, when's, when's a good time to say, hey, you know what? Fuck that. You know, I, I, don't, I don't mean to sound so, so harsh about this, but it's just, I know we're all thinking it, you know. Uh, when, when do we say enough? Then again, I don't want to sound like some crazy-ass radical. Um, what, I, what I'm just trying to say is, can people start to tolerate that I want peace, that I want to live a non-aggressive lifestyle, that I, I, I don't want people aggressing upon me either, um, and I want to hold these people accountable that are initiating violence upon other human beings. Uh, is that is that reasonable? Is that okay? Because I'm getting tired of this. Anyway, that's my question, guys. Uh, go ahead in the comments, shoot a message, whatever you want to do. Uh, roll it in your head. That's the question for you guys. Uh, another thing, this whole immigration crap. There's a, there's a lot of hype right now about Mexican-American immigration. Uh, Again, it's basically a bunch of Republicans that are saying, hey, we don't agree with these socialized programs that we have, but uh, but all those Mexicans, those damn illegal immigrants, they're stealing all our socialized programs that apparently Republicans aren't for anyway. But, you know, you know, the, these Republicans, they claim to be free market advocates, but really they want their socialized military, they want their socialized health care. So, it's a bunch of fucking hypocrisy on both sides. Uh... Democrats and Republicans, you guys are both way too socialist for me. Uh, I want to be free. So uh, I'm going to sign off for uh, Liberty in Brief. Thanks for watching again, guys. This is a little bit of a short episode. I apologize. All my episodes have been kind of short. Uh, my time management has been kind of crappy lately. But uh, this one's just a bit of a rant. Uh, I got some stuff to do later on today. So I'm trying to hurry up and get this on the air for you guys before, uh, before I'm too late. Uh, and by the way, thanks Michael Shanklin for the t-shirt. I love it. And if you guys want to live free, live borderless, want to learn how, go ahead and Google volunteerism. Alrighty, guys. Take it easy.